Hello viewers, this is Dao Too Fast here. I am very excited to show you this brand new camera I just picked up. I've actually been looking around for the last couple of years for a new camera and it has taken me a long time to find the right camera because there are some specific features that I'm looking for and many of the cameras sold on the market lack some of these features. Now the camera that I have been using and using right now to record this video is a much older Sony Cybershot DSC HX1 camera that I got eight years ago. And as you can see in my videos, the Sony has done a pretty good job. However, I've dropped it a bunch of times and also over the years I noticed the focusing is not as good as when I first got it. Sometimes it loses focus in the middle of the video recording so I have to re-record again. So it's a bit of a hassle. It's definitely time for a new camera. And in front of me is the Canon PowerShot G3X camera. This has everything that I need to do my YouTube videos. I should also mention I do have a Nikon DSLR camera. And there are many YouTubers that use DSLR camera for vlogging, but it's just not versatile enough if you're going to be doing installation videos or if you're going to be crawling underneath the vehicle to film that shot. So I need something that is more compact and has a lot of features. So let me get straight to unboxing this and I'll show you what the camera looks like. Now this Canon PowerShot G3X camera is not a 2017 model. It actually came out in late 2015. So it's been out for a couple of years, but it's a camera that Canon still currently sell. So in this box we have the user guide and the warranty card. This is the rechargeable battery. It's a Canon NB-10L. And here is the G3X. In this box, we have the camera strap, USB cable, and the battery charger. Here's a closer look at this Canon PowerShot G3X camera. First thing I want to mention is the body on this camera is all metal. Also, this camera is dust proof and water resistant. There are rubber seals used throughout this camera to keep the dust and water out. This camera features a 1 inch 20.2 megapixel high sensitivity CMOS sensor. It uses Canon's Digic 6 image processor, which has improved light sensitivity with high resolution and low noise when shooting in the dark. The lens you see here is a 25x f2.8 to 5.6 optical zoom lens, equivalent to a 24 to 600 millimeter lens. So at 24 millimeter, you get this nice wide angle shot, and when you zoom in to 600 millimeter, you have this very nice telephoto zoom lens. Let's have a look at the back here. On the back, we have this very large 3 inch capacitive touch screen, and this also tilts up and down. And this is one of the must-have feature I need on a camera. This flips all the way up, 180 degrees. And you can flip it down. Let me install the battery and I'll turn it on. And by the way, it uses a regular SD card for memory. At the top is the on-off button. It turns on very quickly. Now when you flip the screen all the way up, the image will actually flip so you can take a selfie or do vlogging. If you go into the menu, you can touch the screen and select different items. The resolution on this LCD display is 1.62 million pixels. So you can see the details very clearly. At the top over here, we have a pop-up flash if you press the switch here, the flash will come up. The next must-have feature that I was looking for is a hot shoe. That's very important. And a lot of the compact cameras on the market don't have this. And the reason I need this is because sometimes I need to mount an external microphone or an external light panel for additional lighting when I'm recording video. Now one thing you'll notice about this camera is that it does not have a viewfinder. And there is an optional Canon viewfinder that you can install in the hot shoe. I did pick up the electronic viewfinder and I'll show you that later on in the video. Over here is the exposure adjustment and this is also something that I use frequently when I'm filming something that's underexposed. 
I can adjust the exposure on this. Here we have the video record button, very convenient. So you can start recording by pressing this button right here. And here we have the shutter button and the zooming. It's on the switch right here. As you can see, very fast zooming. On the right side of the camera, there's a cover you can open up. At the very top is an optional remote control you can plug in. Below that is a mini USB connector to connect to your PC. At the bottom here is the HDMI output. Over here on the left side, if you open this cover right here, you get access to an external microphone jack. Now this feature is something that I was looking for on a camera. This is important because if you're recording outdoor and it's windy, you might want to use an external shotgun mic with a wind muff to reduce the wind noise. Next to it is the headphone jack. With the headphone jack, you can plug your headphone to it and listen to the audio that you're recording. So both of these features are very important for people who do a lot of video recording and you don't often find it on many cameras. Looking at the bottom, we have the mount for the tripod. Another nice feature on this camera is there is a manual focus button. So if I want to manually focus on a close-up shot, I can do that. And when you set it to manual focus, you can adjust this ring for the focusing. Now let me show you some of the accessories I picked up for this camera. Here is the Canon EVF DC1 electronic viewfinder. Now you don't have to have this, but it's handy to have when you're filming outdoor and it's very sunny. Sometimes the LCD can be a bit washed out in the direct sunlight. So you might want to use an electronic viewfinder like this. This EVF DC1 electronic viewfinder has a high precision XGA resolution LCD with 2.36 million dots pixel. So what you see on here is exactly the same as what you normally see on the LCD display. At the bottom here, we have a dioptric adjustment that can range from minus three to plus one. The LCD can also be tilted. You can adjust the tilt on this. To install this, it's very simple. Just install this into the hot shoe. When you turn on the camera and you press this button on the side right here, it'll switch over to the electronic viewfinder. Also, if you bring the viewfinder up to your face, there's a sensor next to the LCD that will switch on the electronic viewfinder automatically. The next item I picked up is this Canon LHDC100 lens hood. And this is something that can be very handy if you're filming outdoor. A lens hood will help cut glare on your shot. In this bag is the adapter ring. First install this adapter ring. Then you can install the lens hood. Now if you're going to be doing any type of vlogging or YouTube videos, you're going to need extra batteries. That's why I have three additional batteries. These are all the Canon NB-10L batteries. And with additional batteries, you don't have to worry about the camera dying and interrupting your recording. Let me show you some additional accessories I'll be using with this camera. On the left we have this light panel. Now in the past I've had to use this bracket because my other camera does not have a hot shoe. So I have to use this bracket and mount this underneath on the tripod mounts. But now with this camera, I can take this light panel, directly mount this onto the top right here. And this will give additional lighting when you're filming say inside the vehicle very handy to have. Over here we have an external microphone and again it has a hot shoe mount so I can mount this directly on the camera and with the wind muff it's great for recording outdoor when it's windy or a lot of noise. One last accessory I picked up for this camera is this leather case. This one is made by Canon and it's great if you're going to be traveling this will help protect the camera. Well I hope you enjoy watching this quick unboxing and review of this camera and I mainly want to highlight the features that I was looking for I think this camera is really going to help me with making better videos for all my viewers. This is a very versatile camera packed with lots of great features. It's also very robust with the dust proof and water resistant. Now if you want to get this camera or the accessories that I showed you in this video, I will include the link in the description below. Let me know what your thoughts about this camera. Thank you for watching and don't forget to click on thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.